hi everyone welcome back to the channel this is shubham pramanik i'm a freelance motion designer and in today's video we are going to learn how to make a drippy text effect within a couple of minutes so this video is going to be very much interesting i hope you will learn a lot of things so with that said now let's get started all right so let's start the process by typing a text and let's type in leak i'll make the text font around 350 in size and align it in the center okay and after that i'm going to use the effect cc smear okay and uh, from the start position let's place this over here and another one over here okay so here you can see and if i increase or decrease the reach here you can see that it is working like a drippy text effect right so let's uh, do a keyframe over there and another one around one second and i'll just increase it like this way okay now hit u here you can see the keyframes just select the keyframes and press f9 okay so let's preview it and let's see yeah it's looking nice okay so after that i'll just duplicate this effect by pressing ctrl d and this time i'm going to point this uh, from here and the end point should be around here okay after that i'll place the keyframes a few frames forward and after that i'll duplicate it for another time and this time i'm going to place it from here and the ending will be here okay looks good so just place it like this way okay and press u again and position these keyframes a few frames forward okay now let's ramp preview it i think we can uh, just place the keyframes over there and this one over here okay now see looking good right and if you want to make the animation a little bit longer just select all of the keyframes press alt and drag it like this way okay now here you can see looking good so after that what i'll do i'll just uh, make duplicate of this layer so select the layer and press ctrl d and now i'll press the arrow button on my keyboard one two three four five and i'll just change the stroke like this way okay now i'll duplicate it another time ctrl d one two three four five another time ctrl d one two three four five and after that i'll select all of the layers press ctrl shift c to precompose and give it a name like uh, main text comp and make sure move all the attributes to the new composition and hit ok okay and after that i have an overlay image here that you can download i will give the link of this file as well in the description so please check that and i will just drag the overlay file under this and let's make it like this way okay after that uh, select the track mat as alpha mat and after that here you can see that we can see a blank space over there so what i'll do i'll just change the position of the layer and let's place this one like this way i think it looks good okay all right so after that what i'll do i'll make an adjustment layer by pressing ctrl alt and y and after that i'll add an effect that is coloroma okay and i'll change the intensity to hue and now let's select the color as per your choice let's see what is working better and i think this one is looking good after that i'll add an effect and that is glow and uh, in the glow settings i'll select the glow threshold to around uh, 43 and glow radius i'll increase the radius a little bit higher let's set this one around 160 just like this so here you can see the uh, look is already improving okay and after that i'll just duplicate the glow effect one more time and here i will just decrease it around 2.5 percent and glow radius to around set this as uh, 
थ्री और टू जस्ट लाइक दिस एंड ग्लो इंटेंसिटी टू अराउंड जीरो पॉइंट टू ओके सो इट विल लुक लाइक दिस इफ यू वॉन्ट यू कैन मेक इट जीरो एज वेल आई थिंक दिस वन लुक्स गुड ओके सो नाउ रैम प्रिव्यू इट एंड लेट सी हाउ इट इज लुकिंग looking pretty good i think one thing is missing and that is the uh, background it is looking very static right so what i'll do i'll add a turbulent displays and uh, over that i will just go to the evolution and press alt left click and here i'll add an expression that is time asterisk 50 and let's see how it is looking now okay so i think this one looks good right so in this way you can make a drippy text effect like this one within a couple of minutes i hope you have learned something new today and if you like the video please comment down below and i love to reply and please subscribe to the channel it will help you a lot to uh, learn after effects in a better way and with that said this is shubham pramanik signing off and i'll see you in the next video